Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another general read. These readings are for entertainment purposes only guys, so take the parts that speak for you and leave the rest. We are going to dig around and find out a little more information um, about the one who hurt you. So if you're keen to find out a little bit more about this person, stick around, guys. This will be your read. If you do enjoy this reading, feel free to let me know by liking, sharing and or subscribing here today. If you would like to work with me, all those details will be in the show more section below. And if you would like to connect with me on my other platforms, guys, feel free to do so. If, you have, if you're new to my channel here, um, I will link in the uh, description box below your June read for this month. Um, so feel free to catch the messages for this month if you haven't already done so. Um, okay, so we are going to be using three different decks here, two oracles and one tarot. Um, to draw some messages around this person that hurt you. This read will be specific to all air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is for you air signs. Um, so if you were born under those signs, then this read is for you. Uh, cross watchers, you're more than welcome. Okay, so we're starting off with the Animal Spirit deck and we've got the Butterfly coming through. Alrighty, so uh, the one that hurt you could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see what else is coming through. Oh, this one wanted to come through. Okay, the Elephant. Interesting. Okay, could be a fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <clears throat> okay, this one wanted to come through. Oh, we've got water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, I hope these are straight. And one more. I feel like the one that hurt you with the butterfly here, I feel like they're undergoing some major, major changes. Okay, so you will notice this coming through with your person um, or you will hear about it. Okay, I do feel that the butterfly does signify transformation and change. So I do feel like there's a lot of change uh, going on when it comes to this person. Uh, look, we've got air energy coming through twice. Okay, so maybe this person is making some changes when it comes to the way they think. Um, you know, air does govern the, the mind, uh, our thoughts. Uh, so maybe this person is undergoing some changes when it comes to their belief system. Um, maybe they're, you know, they're needing to break down some old programming or uh, maybe think a different way. Maybe they're working on their mindset. Okay, so maybe this person is undergoing changes when it comes to their mindset. Maybe this person had a negative mindset. Maybe they're trying to be more positive, a more positive mindset. Okay. Um, I also feel like the one that hurt you might be making some changes when it comes to their physical appearance. So maybe they, they're getting a new... Um, hair color or a haircut, maybe they're transforming their body um, or they're doing something with their beauty, okay? So that's how you know that this person is about to make some major changes in their life because they, they start to appear differently. They want to look differently. So, you know, um, yeah, so that's how you know. Um, this person is about to undergo some changes because they're doing something different with their appearance. I also feel like with the butterfly and the owl here um, that this person is going through some spiritual uh, growth. Um, maybe this they had to learn some kind of a lesson, okay, and they're 
they're growing as a result of maybe trying to understand themselves better or what this lesson was trying to teach them. We've got the elephant here as well, and this is leadership. You know, this elephant is like the matriarch. Um, so I do feel like this person is trying to take responsibility for the way that they're showing up, okay? Um, they've had a bit of a battle on their hands. I feel like this person may have been wounded, but I do feel like through uh, some kind of experience, uh, they've had to go through some kind of experience, okay, to, to be able to take ownership or accountability here. <clears throat> Hmm. There's something, there's a direct approach coming through with the elephant as well. Uh, maybe the person that hurt you, they were very direct um, with the way that they express themselves. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, But I do feel like they're, they're transforming through something here. Now, we've got this little ball of fire here, which again symbolizes transformation. You know, fire transforms things. They've also got the swan coming through here. There's like a pride coming through with this one. They're trying to appear graceful or pleasant. Okay, maybe they're trying to be more pleasant. Um, I'm seeing the elephant as a bit of an energy of someone who kind of like just charges on in, has no kind of filter, you know, is ready to, you know, trample all over you if you you know, step one foot out of place, but they're trying to come through now. They're trying to straighten up their act and come through more graceful or pleasant here. Maybe they're trying to be more pleasant. I do feel like with the swan, because um, water energy can speak to emotions and feelings. Okay. Um, so... I lost what I was going to say. Um, it could be that this person is very reserved with their emotions, okay? Maybe they have a, a bit of a difficult time speaking up about how they feel. Because we can see here with the swan, it's just gliding across the surface. It's not breaking. We can see um, its reflection, but it's not breaking the surface. So maybe this person has a hard time of maybe... Um, going deeper or opening up here maybe this person has a hard time of really opening up and being vulnerable with you here but it could also translate with this one that this person may be you know a little bit closed off emotionally Okay, and maybe that's because they feel very protective of their heart. Maybe this person has been hurt. Okay, maybe with this broken tusk, they've gone through some kind of heartbreak. Maybe they've gone through some kind of divorce or breakup here. And it's kind of like scarred them. They still carry this with them. So I do feel like this person is very protective of their heart um, and their emotions here. But they still come through as very pleasant. I do feel like this person does think about you, has you in their thoughts or has you on their mind. Let's see what 
else we can get. Oh, interesting. Ace of Cups. This is really beautiful, guys. Um, okay, so the one that hurt you with the Ace of Cups. Um, look, it could be that this person wants a, a brand new start, a, a fresh start, a new beginning. Okay, maybe they just want to wipe the slate clean and start fresh, start again with you. Okay. For those of you in an existing relationship uh, with this person, the one that hurt you, I do feel like there's a brand new chapter awaiting um, your relationship. For others of you, maybe this is someone new, okay? Maybe this is someone that you met um, and it sort of never, you know, with the Ace of Cups, it sort of never lifted off of the ground. There was so much potential here, but it didn't go the next step. The one that hurt you, um, I feel like there's a message around self-love. And I know that term is thrown around and, you know, there might be a bit of an eye roll here, but that's just the best way I can put it forward to you. Maybe this person really needs to work on themselves. Okay. Now, I'm also seeing with the Ace of Cups, there may be some kind of apology coming forward or some kind of a gift coming forward from this person to say how much they really are sorry uh, for the way they treated you. Um, look, I, I do see a bunch of flowers. And if it's not a bunch of flowers, guys, there is some kind of a gift. Maybe there's an outpouring um, of emotion here with the Ace of Cups. Maybe this person wants to come forward and, you know, just open up and, and tell you how much they adore you and appreciate you um, for putting up with them. <clears throat> Okay, what else have we got here? Oh, well, the Emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries, okay? The Emperor can signify an Aries, but it's really interesting. The Emperor has come out on top of the Elephant, which is leadership, okay? So, yeah, this person is stepping up. They are taking responsibility, okay? They want to show you... Um, that they're sorry and that they mean it and that they will back it up with action. You know, the emperor is an energy of someone who is worthy. So I do feel like there is a worthiness coming through with this person. Maybe they need to work on their self-worth. Um, or maybe this person needs to step it up. Okay, you know, the emperor, he's at the, the head of the, the hierarchy here. He's all four kings rolled into one. So this person knows that they need to step it up or they'll lose you. This person does like to take charge or will take charge. There's an element of um, control coming through with this person. Um, maybe I'm getting here that this person needs self-control or maybe they need to, that's what I was getting earlier. Maybe they're like, you know, they don't think things through and they're very reactive and they have this tendency, tendency to sort of like trample on your feelings without considering or thinking it through. But I feel like here with the Emperor and the Swan here, it's like they need to pull that back in. They need self-control around that, okay? But there is a bit of pride coming through uh, with this Tiger. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, two aces. Interesting. Yeah, this person is going to make some kind of an offer. They want to present you with some kind of an offer. I think there is an opportunity for something to really transpire here with this person. Um, look, maybe the one that hurt you offered you commitment and offered you love. 
um, but maybe, you know, depending on what other cards come through, these two aces tell me that it started off on a great note, but then it kind of just fizzled out, it sort of didn't grow from there, okay? Um, but I do feel like with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, there's, that there's huge potential here. This person wants to start again or start fresh. Hmm. There is potential for this connection to be successful um, or even long lasting, okay? There's potential for something real, to build something real here with this person. Oh, look at this. We've got the death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio as well, okay? But the death represents letting go of the past. So a new door, a new chapter can begin because death speaks to rebirth. I really do feel like maybe this connection or this relationship will be reborn in a sense. But first, in, 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 before that rebirth can take place or that coming together and reuniting with this person can take, take place, this person really needs to let go of old patterns or old behaviors here okay they really need to let it go um so they can start again <clears throat> this person i'm getting destruction with the death card okay this person has the ability to self-destruct or self-sabotage here so you know the one that hurt you has this has something going on where they self-sabotage and in turn it sabotages the connection and the relationship okay it's not personal it's not personal it's just it's an old program it's an old patterning it's an old it's an old belief system that they need to break okay and that's what i got earlier okay let's see what else is coming through yeah look at that can't get any more clearer than that, can you? I, I said this was a self-love thing, okay? It's really critical and vital that this person works on themselves because if they don't work on that, they're always going to feel like they're an empty cup and that they can't give to this relationship or this connection. I do feel like, believe it or not, it stems back from childhood. I'm seeing a little child here. Maybe this person has children. Uh, maybe it stems from when they started their own family or when they were a child, okay? Maybe this person really lacked um, the right nurture or the right comfort from their parental figures, Okay, but this person does need to and will work on this aspect of themselves. Okay, deep down inside, this person does have a very big heart and they do have a lot of love to give. Um, they do. They really, really do. I see it here. Look at this. There's a generosity coming through here. Um, I feel like there's going to be a huge display of affection coming through with this person. This person may be very generous when it comes to the compliments, uh, complimenting you. I feel like um, I feel like this person, for some of you, they might want to take you out. Okay, take you out, maybe reconnect over a drink or over a coffee here. I'm seeing a glass of red wine here, so it could be a possible date. Um, yeah, this person really wants to step up and take ownership and take you out on a date and maybe just, you know, spill the tea and let you know how sorry they are. Look at this. We've got forgiving here. This person really wants you to forgive them, okay? Or maybe they want to come through and forgive you, okay? They want to come through and offer their kindness. They want to show that side of themselves because they are... I feel like they're very giving. They've got a big heart is what I'm, I'm feeling here. Very, very, very big heart. Uh, maybe you're yet to discover this side to them.
they they want to the one that hurt you wants you to forgive them um i'm also seeing these cracks in the ground of this card here too okay so maybe some cracks were appearing here and that's that side of themselves that they they I'm, I'm getting like this person wanted to come through like they're the best or that they are perfect but no one's perfect maybe some cracks started to form or appear here um but they also need to accept that they're not perfect or all relationships aren't perfect here I'm also seeing in this card two people really sort of lovingly looking at each other, gazing into each other's eyes. So I'm getting a deep sorry, a deep, deep sorry coming in from this person. Okay, one more card, guys. Oh, look at this. We've got the shine card coming through. So, yeah, I feel like you're going to get much more positive energy from this person. Um, it says radiate an energy here. So I feel like there's, this is a positive message. Okay. Um, I feel like for some of you air signs that what's coming forward from this person is going to be like music to your ears. Um, for a lot of you, I'm going to see you glowing as a result of this person really stepping it up and making those changes, not just for themselves, but for the relationship or for the connection or for the friendship here. So there we have it, guys. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this read.